Thank you for calling Microsoft. This is Paul. How may I assist you today? Yeah, hi. You guys called me? Yes. Am I talking to Gloria? Yes. yes. All right. So, for that, I need to check, you know, fill up my records. Just hang on. Give me a couple of seconds. All right. So, uh, ma'am, when did you receive the call? Um, a couple of hours ago. A couple of hours ago. All right. So, uh, let me tell you, in the past, you know, we have sent around seven to eight pop-up messages onto your computer screen. So, did you receive any one of them? Yes. All right. Because, you know, some procedural activity is going on onto your computer screen, but we did not get any of the reply from your side onto those pop-ups. So, in that case, we had to give you a call. Okay. Are you getting the point? Uh-huh. Exactly. So basically, for what purpose do you use the computer at the place? Is it official use or your personal use? Personal. Only personal use, like banking, online shopping, and all these things, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, uh, have you made any changes to your computer recently, like uh, you know, upgraded to Windows or downloaded something, kind of that? Because as we can see on our Microsoft Top Server, some suspicious activities going on, which we you know, haven't, you know, find it out till now. So, have you done any, made any recent changes to your system? I downloaded some stuff, but how, how, how did you see it on my computer? Okay, so, uh, like, uh, how old is that machine? Uh, three years old. Three years old. Are you facing some difficulties? You know, do you face some problems while using it? Yeah, it freezes sometimes, and I have to shut it down a lot. Okay, let me tell you, because, like, someone has got hold over your machine, right? They're trying to get the bad door access into your computer system, because a lot of foreign addresses, like, overseas location addresses have been found in your computer system while we were tracking the IP address, right, which is absolutely illegal. So if anything happens, because you do not have a proper network firewall installed in it, if anything happens, only you will be responsible for that at this time, which we do not want at any cost, right? Okay. So, yeah. So, are you around your computer system right away? Yeah, I have it right in front of me. All right. So, just look onto your keyboard. Okay, is it turned on? Yes. Okay, just look onto your keyboard. And on the extreme left, bottom of the keyboard, which key you can see there? Control. All right, just right to that control key. Can you see the Microsoft Windows slide key? Yeah. You need to press that key and hold it, okay? Yeah. At the same time, you need to press letter R as in Romeo. Okay. And what you can see on your computer screen now? Um, it wants me to run something. Okay, the type, the name of a program, folder, document, kind of that? Yeah. Okay, so there you need to type in www. Yeah. Microsoft Help. Okay. Dot co. Charlie Oscar. Okay. So please isn't click on Microsoft, OK now. Isn't Microsoft uh, dot com? Shouldn't I put dot com? No, no, no. No, no, no. This is www.microsofthelp.co. Okay. Okay. Microsofthelp.co. Okay. Charlie okay. Oscar. Okay. Yes. Click on OK. Yeah. So, uh, the Microsoft homepage will come up now. So, why couldn't I just do that in the browser? I'm sorry? Why couldn't I just do that in the browser? Yes, you can, you know, do that in the browser as well. No problem. Okay, hold on a second. All right. Well. Yes. But, you know, you just make sure that you type uh, that address in the top address bar. Okay. Not in the middle of the screen. Right. Okay. In the top of the screen, we, you know, we type the URLs like www. And blah blah google dot com and all these things. There you need to type in, not in the middle of the screen, but in the top address bar. Okay, I got it. Okay, so are you typing it down? Yes. Okay, just type down www dot 
Yeah. Yeah. Help me. Yeah. Dot net. But isn't Microsoft that just Microsoft.com? No, no, no. You need to type www.helpme.net. What is that for? You know, first of all, we need to take the session and we'll run some checks into your computer system because we need to find out what exactly is going on into your computer system, why it is sending that kind of virus reports to other Windows users. So for that, as we're talking to the Microsoft technician, so we'll run some checks there. Okay? Yeah, but if, if you're with Microsoft, then why don't I just go to Microsoft's website? All right, sir, do one thing. Just type down www.microsofthelp.co. Okay. Yeah. The same thing which you have typed down in the run box, you need to do that. You know, you have to type it down in the top address bar, okay? Yes. Exactly. Okay. So, once you're on the home page of Microsoft, please let me know. I'm here. Okay, so uh, just scroll down a bit. You will find options like SS1 and TV1. Yes. So please click on SS1. Okay. All right, so what you can see now? Establish support connection. All right, so there you need to type your first name. Okay, yeah. in the name option, you need to type your first name. Okay. And I'm just giving you the Microsoft support key. Okay, just type down your name, and once you're done, please let me know. I'm ready. Okay, just note down your support key, type it down there. 284. 284. 185. 185. 156. 156. Okay. Right. Click on continue. Okay. So what can you see now after clicking on continue? Um, I have the hour glass. <laughs> okay, the hour glass. All right. Is this a Microsoft website? Exactly, sir. So. But how come it says Citrus Systems? No, no, you know, it is connected with the Microsoft because it is, you know, kind of the system concern of Microsoft. Because we need to take the remote session, as I told you in the beginning, we'll run some checks, so we are doing it through Microsoft. Oh. All right? Yeah. So, what you can see now? The hourglass is still going. Okay, it's still going. The computer oh, is very slow, I guess. My antivirus popped up and it said that this is a dangerous website. Why would it say that? No, it's not the dangerous website because as you have checked it by your own that you're opening it through Microsoft website itself. Okay, but the, the, uh, the Norton antivirus... Might be just as, you know, it just has popped up because, you know, your computer has already have got viruses. It has got Trojans and poop face kind of viruses still present in that. Which viruses do I have? The Trojans and poop face. And you're going to help me get rid of them? <laughs> of course, so that is why I have this call is given to you. Okay, do I have to pay anything? <laughs> no, no, no. Let me tell you, sir, the tune up, clean up, and the removal of all the viruses will be absolutely free for you. Because as you're already a Microsoft user, you've got the genuine Microsoft Windows, right? But, but the, if uh, we need to... Are, are the, uh, the viruses that, um, that you're going to put on my computer, are those for free too? Exactly. Let me just tell you. So if we need to put some tools into your computer system, so that because Microsoft only deals with the Windows. Do you agree? Because Microsoft makes Windows and it takes care of the Windows. But in case if we have to, you know, buy some network firewall, network security for you, because in future, if you know, the same problem should not arise in future. So in that case, we need to buy some tools, some protection tools from the third party. 
So in that case, you need to pay some nominal registration fee, right? For that, half of the payment will be made from our side because as you are already a legitimate customer to us, and half of the payment you will pay by your own. It's kind of that. If in case you know some of the hackers or the coup face kind of these viruses or hackers found in the computer system. Yeah, but the the viruses that you're going to put on my computer, do I pay for those? No, I'm not going to put any viruses in your computer system. How can you say that, sir? Oh, I thought that's what you were doing. Are you kidding, sir? Excuse me? I'm not going to put any viruses in your computer system. I'm here to help you out, sir. Oh, okay. Why do I put... I don't know, because... You couldn't get a job working for Dell, and you got a job working for this company, and you put viruses on people's computers, and you steal their money from them? No, no, no. So who told you this? Who told me this? The Internet. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Who told you this, sir? Uh, my brain. My brain. Your brain told you this? Yes. But, you know, can you prove it to me? Uh, Microsoft isn't going to call me up and tell me that there are viruses on my computer because Microsoft doesn't have any idea if there's viruses on my computer and they wouldn't call me about it. Let me tell you, sir, how can you say that Microsoft never, you know, doesn't got an idea about that? Because if you're using the Microsoft Windows, how can you say that they don't have an idea? Um, maybe because, because they're using computers. I'm sorry? Maybe because I build computers. You don't computers? I build computers. Hey, you build you build computers. Correct. Okay, you're already a technician. Correct. And you do not take care of your you know computer system, your own? I do take care of my computer and I have nothing how inspected on my computer. And if I did have anything no, inspected on my computer, nobody would call my house. Of course, sir. Even I can, you know, prove it to you. I can show you all these things, what is happening, what is you the mess. even bring it to a Microsoft me. website. I'm sorry? You didn't even bring me to a Microsoft website. No. I asked you to open the Microsoft website. You just type down by your own microsofthelp.com. Yeah, that's not a Microsoft website. It's support.microsoft.com. Exactly, sir, but it is, you know, the Microsoft concern. No, 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 no. A Microsoft website is microsoft.com, not microsofthelp.co. Exactly, I got you concerned, sir, but, you know, in order to take the remote from the customers, in order to solve their you issues online... that I work with computers, computers and I know computers, and you're not going to scam me into doing this procedure? I'm not going to do any scam with you, sir. I know, you're really... To be very fine with you. Okay, where are you, in Hyderabad? Did, 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 did I ask you for any money? What you just said? I said, are you in Hyderabad? No, no, no. I'm calling you from Delhi, sir. Let's no. talk about this. I'm calling you from Delhi. How are you? Why are you even continuing? You're not going to get me to run anything on my computer so that you can lock it and hijack it from me. No, no, no. I'm not going to do anything, sir. Just don't worry. But, you know... To be very friends with you, sir, it's the part of my duty. This is my bread and butter. Why don't you get a real job helping people instead of screwing people over and stealing their money? Sir, uh, you know, I don't steal any money. This is my company which steals money, but I just it's work your there. company? You own it's Microsoft? No, no, no. <laughs> you know everything. I know everything. So why then you are saying that you are from Microsoft? I didn't say I'm, I'm from not Microsoft. Calling you I never said that. You did. No, 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 I'm not calling you from Microsoft, sir. Uh, that's what you told me. Exactly, sir, that I know. But I, you know, uh, I'm extremely sorry for that. But if you are, you know, uh, talking on the real instances, then I must say that I'm sorry for that. But still, sir, this is my bread and butter. I have to do it. 
to survive at any cost you can understand that i'm still only 21 years old mhm well you're going to end up on youtube uh-huh. because this is being recorded so i'm going to upload it on youtube along with the phone number that you guys are calling from so we're going to do that for another job where you help people and not scam people and hijack their computers and make them pay you to get their computer back all right sir but so if just you know reward me for saying the truth because i told you the truth so please do not upload it on because it's all about me so they will people will screw my ass so please take care of it but definitely i'll you know once i get paid the salary i'll leave this job definitely so i'll make promise to you okay okay All right sir and can i note down your number so so that i you know in future if i'll get some good job i'll be in touch with you i'll definitely i'll give you a call and i'll tell you sir this time i'm you know working with a genuine company and you know you can understand that okay all right sir all right okay sir it's been very nice talking to you it was a very positive talk and i'm extremely sorry that i bothered you okay okay All right sir thank you so much have a great day i hope so goodbye